San Diego's vast, expansive shoreline has long been a breeding ground for algae research. And at UC San Diego, biologist Stephen Mayfield is a leader in algae biotechnology. Long before dinosaurs, the oceans were filled with algae. And what happened is they captured CO2 and they put it into oils and they sank to the bottom of the oceans. They were covered by silt and sand and then over hundreds of millions of years under high temperature and high pressure, the protein and carbohydrates were degraded. They were eaten by bacteria and what was left over were the fatty acids and the hydrocarbons and that became petroleum. For years, Mayfield has worked on the development of algae biofuels. But as the price of fossil fuels cycle up and down, so does funding for algae research. So Mayfield and his colleagues broadened their focus to include other uses for the products that derive from algae. Once you understand that petroleum is simply fossil algae, then you can recognize right away, well, I can take modern algae oil, I can take oil produced in algae today, and I can convert that into any product that I make from petroleum. So we talked to the students and we thought about it and we said, what's the most important product we could possibly make? And clearly what we came up with is a surfboard. so important for surfers to make sure that we protect the environment, and yet the surfboards, our connection between us and the ocean, is a piece of plastic made from fossil fuel, and everybody knew that was wrong. A surfboard blank is the buoyant core that allows a surfboard to float. Traditionally, blanks are made with petroleum-based polyurethane, in the lab, however, Mayfield and his students make algae oils into polyols that are cross-linked to make an algae-based polyurethane. So they're sustainable, and that's really important. That means the CO2 that's in them, we didn't pull out of the ground. But more important than that, because we made it from modern algae oil, they're biodegradable. So when you're done with that surfboard, you strip the fiberglass off it and throw it into a compost pile, and it will be eaten by bacteria and fungus. Surfers and the surfboard industry are very excited about the potential for a biodegradable surfboard. The board rides really good, actually. It's like really fast and it gives a lot of momentum off your speed. It rides just like any other board, but it's good for the environment. All surfers, you know, we're connected with the ocean and it's probably good that we, you know, ride something and use equipment that's good for the ocean. Why did we make a surfboard and why is it so important? for us to make these things is because we want to leave that sequestered CO2 underground. We do not want to pull that out in any form and release it into the environment. That's what causes climate change, this is well known. So when we make surfboards from algae oil, that is CO2 that is pulled out of the air. So now we're taking CO2 out of the air and we're putting it into a surfboard. So a wonderful thing for the environment.